Hey, Mohammed IFL2, the MTK Global. Josh, why do you always sport this T-shirt? Hey, listen, I had a nice orange number on yesterday, but where's the JD budget? Ask JD. They won't give me. They won't give me a jumper. It's freezing cold. Cold. JD, you got to sort him out. Exactly. In this winter, brutal. Sending you in t-shirt. Yeah, mate. You know what I mean. I'm trying to do interviews and my nipples can cut glass. Here they are, the Willie Are Milford. you still digging the roads today or not? Um, you know what? In the the, 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 the M25 is is very very dodgy. You know what I mean? Like, Highway maintenance. <laughs> Okay, you want to get your agent to put your fees up a little bit. Yeah? These two are the best dressed yeah. in boxing, I'm telling yeah. you now. And then yeah. I'm wearing a t shirt. We'll, we'll all see you as you cycle home later. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you are horrible. All right, I wanted to speak to you because I know yeah. you work in many sports. So, yeah, with yeah. your job, it, you, you, you fly around everywhere doing, doing little bits in different sports. But yeah. with boxing, we hear the term like it's an addictive thing. When you, when you, oh, do you feel that as well? Is it different to work in other sports? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've worked, and this, do you know what it is? It's funny. Like when you you work in football and you have like an affiliation to a club, like your club could be pissing you off, and then you, you kind of don't like. You know, I, mean, I don't like United, and I don't like Chelsea, I don't like City. And, you, and, and football is one of them sports where you can, yeah, you can fall out of love with it a little bit. Whereas like boxing, I mean, it's always something going on. Like every single division, every promotional outfit. You know what I mean? Whether it be like a match room, whether it be the World Boxing Super Series, whether it be a Frank. Like, there's so much going on and like, there's so many more characters in boxing as well and like, having spoken to like a lot of the guys they all got a, all boxers got a mad story and, you know what I mean and, and it brings you closer to the sport as well it's, it's brutal yeah, these, these are so loud I know Back up, getting yeah. away from the rowdy William Milford. Mate, exactly. Mate. Especially Garrett. Yeah, Garrett and Dave, mate. Loudest voices and yeah. <laughs> loudest voices and best dressed. Yeah, working in boxing. Yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's like having spoken to a lot of fighters on like a deeper level. Obviously, I've got the kind of born fighter thing with with Matchroom and, and kind of knowing a few of the boys. Like you hear their stories and you take a step back from the sport and you realise, man, it's prize fighting. Like they are literally punch each other in the face, full money in front of thousands of people. But it's, it's it's enticing. Like it's it's one of those like, it's one of those sports where you, you literally can't have too much boxing. Mm. I, like, I feel like that. But I want to ask because majority of people here work in boxing and that's it. Yeah. Right? yeah. But obviously you do different sports. But like you can have a bad day at work. But I'll always like I'll always be addicted. I'll be hooked. When's the next card? When am I going yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's a bit of an it's a bit of a drug, isn't it? Working in boxing. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like I, having like I, obviously I've been a boxing fan forever, and then kind of moving from just being a fan to like working in the sport, like working with Eddie. And it's like, you realize that there's, there's, there's so much to it. Like there's so much to it. And and there's, everyone's got a deeper level to it. Like, as I was saying, like all these, all these boxers have got a, got a story to tell. And they're all interesting characters. Like you sit down with Dylan White and you, you hear about how he grew up in Jamaica and he was running around doing the madness. All his brothers. Boxing saved, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, boxing essentially saved him from going down a very wrong path. And you hear that a lot. And like, yeah. you can relate. I think boxers are normal people. Like, I know that they're, they're sometimes they've got a bit of a screw. They're normal people. And you can relate to them. So you, you see him, you go, oh, I see a little bit of me in that. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? I understand your story, like the struggle that you've gone through. Like, it's, it's mad and it's entertaining. Like, it's pure entertainment. Like, you look at Fury in the WWE, and it's like, it's not quite the same. Do you know what I mean? It's not quite the same. Although, although he's, he's, he's a character, and there's a lot of characters in it, like boxing, it's, it's like a real, real, real sport. I don't think there's a realer sport than boxing out there. No, that's true. Especially with Dylan, you know, like, his mum had to, to leave the country and yeah. go and work on her own. We'd never kind of find out a bit yeah. about these kind of things. It's harder to get out, probably, out of footballers and yeah. NFL they're, players. They're, they're all, like, you know, with like NFL, like, in the NBA, yeah, I mean, working in athletics, football, like they're all very media trained. They all know exactly what to say, and they've got like a sky camera here. But like, boxing is probably one of the only sports really where you go to a press conference and there's 30 geezers with a camera who have a relationship with with the boxers or, or, or kind of have been in the sport for a long time, and you get real conversations. Yeah, and there are conversations. It's not one word answers. It's not like you know, thank you. You know, but the team played well. You know, I just it's like, yo, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel. If I want to punch him in his face, I will tell him, and then I'll probably run off, you know, mid interview and go and confront someone. You see, like, like O'Hara Davies and like, oh, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, <laughs> like, it's, it's real. It is real, and you get real conversations with real people, and that's that's why I love boxing. Lucky I weren't filming. I would have carried on filming, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't have got involved, but I think that says more about him than me. Um, did you enjoy it, though? What you do with Matt Truman? I absolutely love it. Like, it, it, arguably, like, you know what I mean? People come to you, oh, what sport do you like the most? And, and I've been, a, you know, I've been, I had the season ticket at Arsenal since I was this big, but like, boxing is just it's something else. Like, 
how, how often would you really like sit down and watch a manager's press conference and be in like engrossed in it? Never. But it, it, like, I'm, I'm waiting. And people go, oh shit, yeah. when Shizora coming out, like who, who, who's gonna say what? Like what trash talking me? And they get like. It's just enticing. Like, I love it. Like, I can't. Mm. I, there's no other sport really that kind of makes me feel like that strongly about it. Like, obviously, I love football, but I think boxing definitely is up there. Walking into like the O2 on a Saturday, oh, like you do it so many times, or whether it's the garden or whatever. But yeah. it's the buzz you get just as a fan of your work. Oh, crazy! It's unbelievable. Like, the access as well. That's another thing that's unbelievable, especially as as as, as media. I guess like when you, you walk into you walk in the depths of the O2 and you see the dressing rooms, you see you could you can feel the tension, and you walk out and you're like you're doing the same walk as the fighters to yeah. the ring, and the crowd, like the intensity, especially you play Sweet Caroline. You know what I mean? You you feel like you're part of it. Sometimes you start shadow boxing in your seat, like <laughs> it is bad. Like, you get the tingles. It's like, it, it, it is different. Yeah. Like it's a different feeling. And like, you know what I mean, when, when you, the anticipation for a fight and then the build up and like, I find it a lot of times, I don't know if you get this a lot, but like, I get nervous, like I get, I get, I feel I get a little in the tingle. pit of my stomach you know I mean? and, yeah, yeah. and you're like, I'm not even fighting, so I can't even, but yeah, so this, the atmosphere at boxing, especially in a big show at the O2, I mean, even we saw, we saw the, 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 the Ritson fight, like Newcastle. Mm. Oh, they're nuts. Oh, they're it's absolutely nuts. It's a different nuts. world. Like, it's a different <laughs> world. I thought the O2 was loud, but no, yeah, see, that, there's, there's, there's a primal element to it. I think it's like, it takes you back to the caveman days, you know what I mean? It's like fight for your food. That's what mm. it's like. Yeah, I thought this, the conversation would go like this, to be fair. I thought the answer would be boxing completely different mm. uh, to working in anything, really. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, good to get that perspective. All right, Josh, thanks for your time, Michael. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on uh, Fight Night. Well, tomorrow, Wayne. Yeah. Good man. Thank Peace. you.